Hey everybody, we want to welcome you today to Daily Good News. I'm Pastor Phil Christ, uh, the pastor of Lakeside Assembly of God Church, and we're here today to give you some good news. I know, I know you've been hearing plenty of bad news uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic, but we're here today to focus in on the good news, the good news of Jesus Christ. Hey, did you hear about the man that decided to join a monastery and, and be a monk? Uh, the only condition was that he would have to take a vow of silence. He was limited to just two words a year that he would say before the holy order. When his first year was expired, he stood before the order and he said his two words, hard bed. The second year, he stood before the order and was given the allowance of his two years and he said, bad food. The third year, third year passed and as he stood before the order, he said and stated his two words, I quit. The head of the religious order looked down at him and said, you might as well, because all you do is complain all the time anyway. You know, as so many are stuck at home right now with the, the stay-at-home uh, order, uh, it, it's so very easy uh, being surrounded by uh, all the bad news, the pandemic, uh, to allow things to... Uh, uh, get on your nerves and stress you out and be complaining. Uh, whether it's the kids that are stressing you out or not being able to go to work uh, or looking at the declining value of your retirement investments or, or just having to cook at home instead of enjoying a sit-down dinner at your favorite restaurant. Uh, uh, it is a time of challenge. And, and I want to challenge you to pass the test. What test are you talking about, Pastor Phil? I'm talking about the contentment test. That's right, the contentment test. The Bible reveals that in all of Israel's wilderness uh, wanderings and, and journey to the promised land, the Bible reveals that they significantly complained Ten times. And it was God who did the counting. And let me tell you something. When God does the counting, it is always right on and accurate. God said that they failed him in the contentment test. Israel's complaining spirit so grieved the heart of God, he prohibited that entire generation from receiving his best promise land living. On the other hand, the Apostle Paul, who spent much of his ministry in prison, wrote from a dungeon cell these words in Philippians chapter 4. Paul wrote, I have learned to be content in whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of contentment. In any and every situation, whether I'm well fed or hungry, whether I'm living in plenty or I'm in want, I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. Listen, check out your Bible, check out church history. Every generation of the godly have had a faith test, a contentment test. My word to you today is this, pass the test, pass the test. Whether you're in need or in plenty, make the decision. I'm going to enjoy this day that God has placed within my hand. Uh, I'm going to understand and know and be keenly aware that every day is a gift, a gift of life. 
I'm going to give God thanks. I'm going to give him praise. I'm going to be content no matter what my circumstances are. For I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. So remember, if you pass the contentment test, you'll be a candidate for God's best in this life. Hey, I love you. God bless you today. And oh, please be reminded that uh, this Sunday morning, we're going to be having Lakeside Live. Lakeside Live at 10 o'clock, and uh, we're going to be uh, sharing Lakeside Live uh, most probably from my office. It'll be a personal touch, and I hope that uh, you can be able to check in with us and enjoy church with us, both worship and word. And then immediately afterwards at 11 o'clock, I want to invite you to drive over to the church. Hey, you're driving over to the grocery store, you're driving over to the, the drug store for uh, many times curbside service. We want to give you curbside service. Uh, join us at our east entry. That's the entry that faces Shaner Road. And Pastor Randy Neary and myself will be there under the car canopy. And we'll be social distancing. And you can roll down your window. And we want to speak blessing. We want to pray over you and those that are with you in your car. We want to invoke God's best upon your lives. We're going to ask you to form two lanes, and uh, that way we can have two cars at a time coming under the car canopy, and uh, we will pray for no more than a minute and speak God's best upon you and yours. Hey, I love you. God bless you as you go with God. Mm -hmm.